but right as I was taking my hand away to grab the air conditioner and stick it in the window, came slamming down. I got most of my hand out of the way, except the tip of my middle finger. I can tell it's not broken because I can, I can bend the joint and everything. It doesn't hurt that much. But under the fingernail, I should take a picture. It's all blue. Because it's, you know, just a big pile, puddle of blood. <laughs> I told Mom I might, I, I might have to take a drill and drill a hole in the fingernail and let all the blood out. Oh, no, 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 don't do that! <laughs> Okay, well, the opening cutscene didn't work, but I'm not going to try making up a new profile because then I'd have to set up all the settings over again and get the license plate working, so screw it. It's just some guy, you ride along in the truck and um, this Matthew guy t tells you, oh, congrats on your new business and stuff, I think we invested money with him or something. And it tells you that you can use the base here. Why, really? Why is the wheel not, huh? I guess I have to set this all up again. Oh, you crushed something too. Yeah, this all this all reset. God damn it. Oh well that still works. Just the wheel. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, it sucks. Crushing injuries suck. It's not really any good way to fix them either. In fact, my grandmother back in the day when she worked at O&W Railroad, she worked up in the offices up in the station. And um, actually she had, she was pregnant with my mother when you know, the railroad went out of business and the timing worked out good because she was able to get like sick pay and stuff. <laughs> Okay, there it goes. I guess that's good. Okay. I think we start off with 150 grand, actually. So I think right off the bat, I'm gonna try buying another truck. I, I, know, I don't like with this game how you start off with this fancy Freightliner Argosy. That's a really nice truck to start. You should start with a crappy truck. I would think, and work your way up. Yeah, that was our secretary. I think her name is Pam or something like that. Or Pat. Pam, I think. Not that he'll ever talk to her, he just walks by her and nods. Yeah, this this is working better as far as loading up that little scene and stuff. Which is good because that happens all the time. Uh oh. <laughs> we just went live. Damn it. Tell me Dark Clave. I'm gonna have to stop if it's in. Anyway, um I got hundred and fifty grand, I think. I don't know if I can really afford Another driver right off the bat, though. I guess I kind of can. I want to buy, like, the cheapest truck available. Well, you can spend, like, a thousand more and get a much better engine. It's kind of funny like that. Wow, Argosties are going for cheaper? But I don't want to drive a cab over, dang it. What's this one? What's the power? 380. What do I have now? Five seven five, wow. Three seventy, three fifty. Yeah, I'll guess I I guess I'll drive this around for a little while. I was gonna swap it out right off the bat with like one of these. But that's a big drop in horsepower. Well, actually, it, it doesn't 
it, it'll be fine. It'll do like 70 miles an hour, which is good to start. I, I want to see if I can just... If I click on this and this... Do I just trade in my truck, or does it... No, it still buys it separate, and then I gotta sell off mine. Well, I can sell it for 57 grand. Well, let's see how much money I have now. I still have 71 grand, that's plenty. I'm gonna keep the Argus D in the fleet, because before long I'll be able to hire a driver, I'm sure. In fact, I might be able to right off the bat. Not Gregory Diaz, you get to start off with a really nice Freightliner Augusty. If I can hire you. I still don't know what a lot of this stuff does on the screen. By the way. Why? Okay. Alright, so he's gonna do whatever he's gonna do, and we're gonna do what we're gonna do. Alright, exit. Oh, wait. I'm still driving this truck. Ah, screw it. I'll drive this truck. Yeah, it's a different interface, and this game, it looks like, um, it's really specific. Like, you can try to... You can try to put it on different kinds of, uh, different loads that they haul and stuff like that, but it's really finicky looking, and I just put it all on auto. There's auto settings for all of it, and I just leave it on auto and go go from there. Here's the might and magic. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Matthew showed me the new office in Oxnard and introduced me to the next secretary and a fat guy named Crane. Oh, that's nice. No longer just Nick off the street, but the owner of Nick Trucking, California's newest transportation company. Yay. So yeah, that's what the cutscene was. Well, we'll see Crane again in a second, anyway. Can I play his mic? No, we're always Nick. Unfortunately. That, that's us, Nick. Right, uh, let's see. Ah, oh, goddammit. Stop hitting the wrong buttons. There. Don't... I don't know why it always starts in this ridiculous zoomed-in mode. Who would, who would drive with their face plastered to the windshield? But you can... I uh, found the button to... There. Yeah, you can even be more plastered to the windshield. There we go. And, uh, the mirror is never adjusted right, and it always resets, which is really annoying. And you can't adjust that mirror. That mirror just stays, however, which is also annoying. But, you know, what do you Oh, and if I hit C, you can sit in the passenger seat and drive if you want for some reason. Or you can be way back here in the sleeper section. See, there's the sleeper. Actually, there's so much detail in this game. I mean, this game fails in a lot of respects, but there's a lot of, like, really cool detail and stuff that I, that's really nice. And, I mean, there's the shifter, and you can see me shift. See, there's second. There's third. No. no. First. Second. Go up to third. No. Okay, fine, don't go up to third. I could even drive like this if I wanted to, but I can't see a damn thing, so I'm not going to. See, there's the gas pedal, there's the clutch. You do have to use a clutch in this game. Wish I had a clutch pedal. Yeah, there's a third person outside the truck like this. Whoa. <laughs> For some reason it's just looking at the front of the truck right now, but yeah, you can, you can move it around. I don't like driving that way, but you can do it. You know, there really should be an animation for that. 
And also, on top of that, not only is there not an animation for that, but you can't really rest without going to a hotel. You go inside a hotel and sleep, and it's just to adjust the uh, clock, but there's no sleep meter in this game, you know, the guy doesn't get tired after a certain amount of time. Which is unfortunate, they should have been put in something like that. But, but yeah, every truck's got a sleeper and they don't use it. Why does the windshield look like it has a little bit of water on it? But it's not raining. I don't know. And there's the warehouses. These little cutscenes are loud sometimes. Louder than they should be. And this time, I'm gonna stay away from expanding north. Well, I guess I can drive up there, drive some loads up there, but I don't want to expand north. I, I want to see if there's more to the story if I don't go north right away. Because it seems like I cut off like the whole middle of the story. I mean, maybe I didn't, but that's what it seemed like to me. Let's see, we're in Oxnard now. We could go over to San Clemente. We don't have a depot there that we can use. But I think if you drive around enough, even if you can't use the warehouse, somebody will call you with a job or you'll find somebody on the side of the road. And and some a lot of people complain about the uh, how much this game is not as a, as much of a simulator as it should be, but it's 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 not. It's more like a racing game with trucks, kind of. I mean, it's trying to be a bit of a simulator, but it's 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 not. <laughs> Mojave. Oh, ten grand to go to Los Angeles. That's close, and it's a good price, so yes. Oh yeah, it's not big rigs. <laughs> it, it's, it's not... I like it a lot more than a lot of people have said. A lot, a lot of people really put this game down, and I, I think it's alright. It's a little weird, but it's, it's good. Also, a lot of the people that put this game down don't seem to realize that this is a, um, this is a sequel to Hard Truck 2. I mean, it took them freaking nine years to make the game, but it is a sequel to Hard Truck 2. And Hard Truck 2 was not nearly as much of a simulator as this is, so... Gotta take that into account. Hard Truck 2 was like an arcade racing game almost, and that was great. For what it was. I think after I deliver my first load, I'll set, I'll get my um, custom music file set back up. Although the rock station that, that it's on right now really isn't that bad, there's just not many songs. You know, it'll go through them pretty quick. The country station's not too bad, too. Actually. I'll change it after a few songs with rock. And there's a... Really? What? I lost my trailer. Barely clipped that light post, but apparently that was enough. Okay, screw this. I keep expecting it um, to pop up with a little dialogue saying you can connect to your trailer now, 
but that doesn't happen. Just when you're close enough, you hit the button and it connects. I barely clipped that freaking light post. Got to remember, I don't have an energy, uh, energy engine brake yet. Although a lot of times that's kind of useless because it brakes too hard and just spins you in a circle, which is not how an engine brake is supposed to work. Oh, and here's the cut forced cutscene here. I think. Yep. There's Crane. What's wrong? Can't find my lug wrench. You got a spare? In the glove compartment. Thanks, Nick. The glove compartment. More like in the toolbox, but whatever. So yeah, that was just a little forced uh, cutscene. What? What did I do? Did I just get arrested for hurting my truck by touching the... Oh! I got arrested for hooking back up to my trailer. That, that's what happened. Okay. Yeah, the, the cops in this game are ridiculous. I wish the voices of the commercials were better, louder, but if I turn the music up any louder, the music is going to be way too loud. Vehicular homicide? Um, I kind of, I mean... The game doesn't show that you're actually killing people, but you can definitely run into cars going pretty fast, and it can be easily assumed that you killed somebody. <laughs> now, people love to cut you off in this game. So that happens sometimes. You'll be going pretty fast, somebody will cut you off, not going nearly fast enough, and you'll just knock them right off the road. Gotta be careful here because there's a cop right there. The cop, the cops are very aggressive, very very aggressive. Oh, why did I go in the right lane? Damn it! Oh, the cops right there. Should have gone left. Oh, come on. You are going to stay right there, police officer, aren't you? There we go. Welcome to California traffic. There's not a lot of cars, but they're in just the right spots. Okay, after I get ahead of this truck enough, I should be able to go over. Let's try it. And the steering's a little weird, too. Like, just doing something simple like a lane change is never that simple. Okay, good. No police sirens, so we pulled that off. Hey, that guy hauled his first load already, I guess. Okay, no, we're not doing that song. Let's try another station. Is this Spanish music? Kill the other drivers, yeah. <laughs> I'm 
not, I think the truck's a little too loud. Let's see if I can fiddle with it a bit. Now I should make the, my first save too. I gotta be able to hear to shift gears, but it is kind of loud right now. Hopefully doing things like getting back out of the menu will be a little quicker, although it's still saying not responding. <laughs> It doesn't sound like I did anything. Uh. Well, it looks like we're going to be fifth place and that's that. I haven't even seen any of my competition yet. I'm not too worried about getting in first place yet. I'm just hauling some loads, making some money right now. the Mafia. I'd try to reskin trucks in this game, you know, for the mic skins and stuff, but modding this game is extremely difficult from what I could tell. Like, even doing things, simple things like reskinning a truck is ridiculous. It's too bad, too. That would be cool. There's not a whole lot of trucks in this game, too, which is unfortunate. Oh, uh, crap. Was I supposed to get off here or not? I don't think so. Nope. I was blocked off. <laughs> yeah. A competition finally. Finally caught up to them, but it's too late. We're about to turn off for the warehouse, so I'm not going to be able to pass them probably. Oh, passed a couple, but one at least. Careful. Third. Of course, when you get into the competition like this, then you always try to pass them all, and then you drive too crazy, and then you crash. That's how it goes. Like right here, this is tight. Hold that off. Well, maybe we'll, we will make it first. It was more of a work up to the warehouse than I remembered. 
I've only been to LA a couple of times, so I usually go north. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about this music soon. You know what? Let's stage stations again. <laughs> oh, that's something, I guess. I actually have three buttons of my steering wheel just dedicated to radio buttons in this game. That's right. Alright, we're actually blowing away the competition pretty good, aren't we? Nice. break yet, right? Oh, and it's right here. I thought I'd have to go through town. <laughs> Flat speed, oh, that's, uh, what is that? Sp space balls? think. Oh look, we messed up our bumper. Yeah, but this this game loves to show off damage to the truck. Yeah, space balls. And I think I can't pick up a trailer here. Oh, I can. I do have some. Let's see. Let's see. It looks like we got a load going down to San Diego, I don't have a fuel oil. Oh, 14 grand. Hell, that's, that's probably worth it even if I don't find something down there. Or a race up to Bakersfield. Don't even have to haul a trailer that way, just race up there. Actually, ship equipment, 12 grand to Oxnard. That, that's probably good. back and forth. It's kind of boring to go back and forth, but hey, what can you do? I want that old rusty truck over there on the right. That almost looks like, uh, what's his name's trunk? Truck. The guy that we did the little cutscene for. It's probably an old Peterbilt. Yeah, the Peterbilt. Why is it? Is that a goose? What are we hauling? Yeah, yeah, you can do races. It's just, um, it's basically race to the whatever warehouse you're going to. So it's it's just like hauling trailers to another warehouse. It's just you don't have to haul a trailer, you're just racing the other trucks. Oh, there's a gas station here. Good. It's starting to get low. I don't got an extra fuel tank yet, so gotta watch that fuel gauge. Okay, game, why are you making me turn left over and over again? Oh, I could have gone through that parking lot. See, I don't know any shortcuts yet. This game, I haven't had it really mapped out too good in my head. There's the gas station, I think. Yeah, there we 